And just so you know, uh, if you run afoul of an Ascended and they get permission to, like, attack you, you yeah. will be informed that you you have been marked kind of thing. <laughs> so PvP oh, flag okay. is enabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's basically exactly what you'd get. You would be informed that your PvP flag is now enabled kind of thing. Fuck. So it's not, it wouldn't just happen, you would be informed. Okay. I also like that we haven't, this whole time, this whole campaign, we haven't cared about money. Like, money hasn't been a thing. And I love that it's now a thing in the red ink. In the red ink. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's That's very very appropriate. Fucking matters a lot here. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. (laughs) Yep. So, we need the suits, and then we need money for the suits. So we're just trying to think of uh, how to get that money right now? Um, we need, yeah, we need, we need to, we need outfits and possibly the cost of admission. Uh, and we're, so we're looking for something to sell in order to afford that, that, uh, admission. And we're trying to find a way to do it that won't fuck us over because we're running afoul of someone that we really don't want to. Yeah. Can, hey, G- GM, if yeah. we all check our pockets, is there anything awesome in there? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably some sand from walking in the desert. Maybe a couple branches from your trek through the forest. Wait. I have what's his face's staff. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah, oh, you, you did say that. Genius. Yeah. What? It, what was? What is the significance of his staff? We is never went over it. it. It was. It was homeboy's staff that he used to like. You know, I have all the power. I was originally going to pick it up because I like wanted to use it like as a weapon. Because Bishop is fucking useless in combat. <laughs> um, but if I can sell this, uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, I'll wait till we leave. I don't know if you've left or not. Yet. Yeah, you've left. You've left the house. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, can I do anything? Like, can I? Can I investigate this to see if this is something that would benefit me in in a combat sense at all? Because if not, I will fucking sell it immediately. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can go ahead and roll plus intelligence to investigate it. Or if you have an ability to to investigate in some way, you could use that. Uh, da, 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 da. Investigate is make inquiries about a subject, not about an item. Ah, gotcha. Um, so I don't really think that counts. And let me check my other thing in Maduba. I haven't gotten it anyway. Okay, so just intelligence. Okay, yep, yep. Roll plus intelligence. <laughs> Which would be guile. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Ooh, a nine. Okay, that's a very high mixed success. Uh, so I would say, as you look at this staff, it's very much like a like a very raw branch. Uh, it has not been worked very well. It does seem to have grown in a unique shape kind of thing, but nothing yeah. really out of the ordinary. Just, just a neat branch, basically. Uh, as you're looking over it, um, you can see that it's been smoothed quite a bit from from being used so much. Uh, it's got a couple scorch marks on it where, you know, magic has probably been detonated a bit too close to it and stuff like that. Uh, it does seem to have some sort of, uh, character to it. Like, the grain all goes a certain way. And the, the twists in the wood seem to be uniform. And so there is something about it that is different but you nothing really jumps out as oh this is worth a bunch of money or oh this does something something it does seem unique in some way but uh the specifics of it are are kind of eluding you 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 are getting a little bit of a of a oh this is something but you don't know what gotcha um uh i don't know if i can assist him because i'm more magically inclined than most but yeah, like, I, I if you'd like, would absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't resist. I'd be. I wouldn't be like you know, Schmeagle trying to look at this in the corner. I'd be openly like, hmm, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, wisdom or intelligence? Uh, intelligence. All right. Never okay. Yeah. No, that's good. A mixed success. I think between the two, mixed success because basically, the thing with Bishop Kane is that he's not used to seeing actual magical artifacts, right? He's very much from a, a a mundane world with mundane objects. Magic is 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 very new to him. Uh, whereas you, Sebastian, 
have seen uh, quite a fair share of magic and like held magic. And I think as you're looking over this staff, you do notice the the standards of like what makes a magic staff in its rawest, most unworked form. This is just like some he picked up a, a stick and happened to pick up one that was quite good at channeling magic. It's not perfected in any way. It, you can tell that Grom got lucky with this stick. He didn't actually craft it. But this stick, this cane, absolutely can um, channel magic in in kind of uh, uh, semi-amplifying and directed ways. It's a focus. It's very much a focus. And not a great one, but it is a focus. Hmm. So I guess that's Sebastian goes over. He's like, Hmm, what you looking at? Um, a stick. Can I? Mm, mm. No, it's mine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You can take a Go ahead. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't okay. care. Okay, I'm going to put my hand on it now. All right, that's what she said. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Venus. Wood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is, well, it looks like this guy tried to make a, no, he actually, it's there's stick. no way he found this. No, this is a, this is a focus. Like, I don't, uh, uh, so in, in magic terms, it just continued um, those a long time ago. When the hell did fold go out of business? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's a, uh, what? Never mind. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, so this, uh, so for magic people, they use this kind of like a lens to gather their magic and use it. Okay. So <laughs> in, in this, this might be worth something. Uh, well, I could what try to make it better, maybe. Could you make it do something fancy? Uh, like shoot sparks out of the end of it when we wave it around? Uh, or put an illusion on it to make it seem even yeah. nicer. I, I, or put an illusion on it to make it look even more special. Uh, I have do a, that. I have a spell for that, and I'm going to use I have a spell for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so what? The bedazzle spell. Okay. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna pull up the because your spell descriptions are like paragraphs long, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like holy shit! Okay, failed arcanist. <clears throat> um, let me pull this up. Uh, that is. Um, what's the spell called? Uh, I know a spell. I know a spell. Aha! Uh -huh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking twenty pages long. Um, <laughs> whenever oh, you a preamble, what the hell didn't do that before? <laughs> and a, refer to Appendix C. Uh, oh, okay, whenever you want to create any magical effect, describe to the GM what you want your spell to achieve. God, that's so <laughs> wide open. They will tell you the cost, risk, or consequence of your spell if it's successfully cast. Um, roll plus int 10 plus, uh, even with only partial memory of how to cast it. You, the spell, you cast the spell at the cost, risk, or consequence that the GM named, and you get the desired effect. Seven to nine, you manage to wrangle enough details from your memory on how to cast the spell, and you create the desired effect. You also suffer the cost, risk, or consequence that the GM named. However, in addition, the GM will tell you of a secondary magical effect uh, you cause as you used details of how to cast other spells to fill gaps in your memory. Uh, and then six, describe the additional magical effect uh, to the first you wanted. You achieve both, but the GM will only tell you how terribly wrong it goes in addition to whatever else they say. Okay. <laughs> Boy, that's quite the ability. Okay, so you're uh, using I know a spell. Let's yeah. start with roll plus int, and we'll deal with what the result is <laughs> after uh, we see what, what, what the roll is. Okay. All right. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Oh yeah! Whoa! Hey, hey yeah. ten yes. plus! Wow! Uh, you cast the spell at the cost, risk, or consequence that the GM named, 
and you get the desired effect. Okay, so you all you have to do is pay the cost or risk or consequence. So why don't you tell me what the ability is, what, what, what is the spell that you are trying to cast on this? It could be apparently fucking anything you want. Like so, I get that ability. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think to kind of like, I think kind of like Sebastian would be a little cautious because he's not quite sure how his magic works in this place yet. Yeah. Um, so I think he would try to make it look like a final product, but not with like embellishments, like gems and jewels and, and, you know, stuff like that and filigree and whatever, mm -hmm. but maybe like the carvings on it are a little more pronounced. Like, you know, like, like, it, like the, essentially this feels like a, the stick and correct me if I'm wrong, the stick feels like it's like, kind of like they sketched out what they wanted to do and started kind of to work on it. This Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, largely this thing is is almost raw picked up off the ground. It's it's almost not worked at all. Okay. Yeah. So I would say he would try to go one step above that. Okay. Um, not not like if, if there was like five steps, this would be step two or three, you know, of gotcha. that process. Okay, okay. And I guess the question is, are you changing the staff itself or are you pushing putting an illusion on it? Mm. See, without knowing what the cost or consequence would be, that's hard to choose. Uh, um, okay, okay. Um Yeah, no, I I think I think I'll have to know. Uh I'm not going to make it too big. I'm not going to make the cost or consequence too big because you're not shooting for a, an amazing, amazing final product. Uh, Maybe. Okay, so yes, I would say that he's actually physically altering it as in like maybe there's a carvings in it to kind of help channel things a little more. Yeah. You know, like he knows he has a general idea of how magic works. So he's essentially trying to make at least in this step of the staff, make it more efficient in channeling magic. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I would say that the consequence is that the staff becomes very fragile. So you, oh. you, you apply this magic to it, but because the spell isn't perfect and the staff wasn't perfect to work to, to start with, and you're not used to the magic here, that as you change the staff, you see the carvings etch themselves in there. You see the twists in the wood become more uniform and worked. You see the grain polished a little bit more. It is not a perfect staff. This is not uh, an amazing focus, but it is significantly more work than it used to be. However, as you're kind of like turning it in your hand, the the balance between your left and right hand as you're holding this stick, you kind of feel it kind of creak in the middle a little bit, and you realize that this thing has become like brittle glass. Okay, so it's not gonna, like if I handle it normally, <clears throat> it's not gonna break, but if there's like a shock to it, it's just probably gonna shatter. Yeah, like, yeah, if, if you just hold it, it's fine. But if you were to like shake it, it'd probably break apart and, and shatter. It's okay. quite brittle. Okay. Yeah. So this has already happened to it. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is now a, like it is now a, a significantly more polished and effective focus, but it is it is now quite delicate. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. I guess Sebastian holds. It's like I think. This would get us some money, but uh, uh, it's more of a piece of art than an actual focus. But you know, more money than sense, someone will probably pay for it. Yeah, thanks for making it. You know, not as good. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was nice. Well, it's so good fancy before, now, and now it's uh, great. Now we can say, yeah, hey, it's... this will keep you company for at least two weeks oh, before just... you break it. Uh, I mean, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not saying we're disappointed. I'm just saying you could have done better. Could have done yeah, a bit better. I, I, yeah, I mean, I dropped out of college. What do you want? But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. It, just, fair it was enough. a personal choice. It just wasn't for me. Okay. <laughs> um, right now, look. Uh, 
uh, Miss Pussycat. Oh, Miss, oh. Miss Pussycat. <laughs> you <laughs> eat books and stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Favorite you snack. I don't you think like that's... to go to the buffet at the uh, library? Yes, please. Hey. Okay, love. Well, what could you tell us in terms of history so as we can sell this as a, some sort of artifact, eh? Well, what we could do... and Can I bring in some uh, legends or something from my... from the green ink, maybe, to just a lay Ooh. some mystique on top of it oh yeah that's a good point maybe that's not a good idea what? maybe what? i'll suggest in character you know what i could we could do is lay some legends from my home dimension on it oh okay like what let's see if there's any good ones or are they all boring stuff like once upon a time there was a magical ball of yarn and all the kitties played with it uh man you know? Lady, yes. lady, yes, uh, Sebastian. Isn't that kind of a bad idea? Seeing that that guy, and he points back to the building, kind of knows the history of most of these dimensions. Oh, ah, true. true. Very good point. That would be a giveaway. Any, have you eaten any books here? What happens when you go into a library anyway? What do you do? Do you? What do you do to the books? Well, I, uh, I'm a real voracious reader. Okay. I eat, I eat the books. I eat them you with eat my the mouth. Books yes. With your mouth. Okay. okay. I think there's a, like, actual description of a librarian plundering the local library. Oh. Oh. Okay. So if you want something to eat, you don't go to a restaurant. You go to the library and just. Yeah. I need yeah, both things. But it's really the knowledge feeds my brain. How likely, while tuna feeds my tummy. How, how likely do you think they'd be to notice if you were eating the books? Do you think anybody here really reads? I can't imagine. Well, it might be worth giving it a try, you know? See, and then if get, per uh, perhaps we should go to the local library and form a circle around Miss Kitty Ears. While she's eating a book! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? We can go to the anthropology section and form a little blockade while she eats a book! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, team? I don't I... know what that... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Great choice. What do you say, Sebastian? Uh, uh, um, Lead the way. Okay. What if we just what if we just take themes? All we want to do is sell this staff. Maybe we take yeah. just themes from legends and lay it over like a nice gauze and pass uh, it on. Perhaps well, it doesn't need to be verifiably something from from here. Do you have a way to do that without incriminalizing us? <laughs> Well, that is not exactly encouraging mm. when you answer a question with such a tone mm. and inflection. <laughs> well, you know, I guess it remains to be seen if it will be incriminating. Oh, lovely. OK, well, <laughs> what does everybody else think? Rippy's not so good with the history. Sebastian, and your experience purchasing magical items, what's mm -hmm. what makes the value go up? What is the real value maker? Uh, well, functionality for one, like the more it can do and the more kind of insane things it can do, uh, the price tends to go up uh, quite a bit. Uh, the other thing would be like if it was associated historically with something like like Maybe this was, you know, uh, the staff of an angel and it was made brittle because of a great war where they expended all their power. Something sure. like that. Something crazy like that. Do we know if it's legal to bring things into the bubble? No, wait a bit. Is there anything wrong with it being from out there? Uh, 
do you think anyone would be do you think it would drive people away if they knew it was from out there or would they think it's a mysterious artifact uh sebastian opens up his black book it's like uh, and basically he's looking to see if that's a thing yeah do people like to collect things from outside of the bubble or are they like the forbidden flower from that M. Night Shamber Lamps movie. M. Night Shamber Lamps. Whoa, Black Betty Shamber Lamps. Okay, so <laughs> I would say um, so the Black Book probably doesn't have too much on the information of, of artifacts and stuff like that. Uh, but I would say, given your uh, um, perusing of uh, being around the cities, being around the townships, seeing the kinds of buildings just as you've been passing by them and the couple that you've gone to, that sale of magical artifacts is quite uncommon. Oh. And sale of uh, shit from outside the city is uh, very much the forbidden fruit. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Do we know if there's like any equivalent of like a like a a, a dark net in this in this ink? Um, a dark net. <laughs> uh, I mean, you would assume that it definitely you would exist. You would think that everything black market, dark web, all all the all the uh, backdoor trading and stuff like that, it all exists here somewhere. Sure, sure, mm. sure. Is there? I guess, kind of just looking over it, is there? any way that this would pass as kind of like a a piece of art like abstract art or a sculpture or something like that i would say with what you've done to it it could pass for either function or art like this like this thing is now a a significantly more powerful focus um Interesting. so it could absolutely function as a focus as long as you know care was taken um but it's all honestly um finely made enough now that it could absolutely be a piece of art uh, I'd say, okay, hold on. character, uh, if we had an angle, maybe if we especially want to get with those snobby folk, maybe we try to pass this off as a sculpture or something, you know, like th those wow. types of people love stupid, worthless things like that. Well, yes. surely, surely, you know. A spell to make this thing strangely attractive, eh? Strangely desirable. Oh, you're dipping in. I don't know how much more this thing can take. Uh, Why not just go to a pawn shop and sell it and say it belonged to a very illustrious... You know what? Why don't we just tell them what it is? Why don't we say this was used was, by yes. the staff by the last person that dared to try to shatter the realm that protects this great town? Oh, it's not a bad idea. Mm. It's not a bad idea. Besides which, if we got caught and got sent up to speak to Volos, we would just look like fucking idiots, eh? Not a big deal. Nothing wrong <laughs> if we just said, no worries, we're busy just being fucking stupid rather than doing what you asked. Not so bad. Not exactly trying to undermine him. Oh, um, question for the DM. Yeah. Since I crafted this or I made this better within city limits, would that count as me creating it within city limits? Um, like, it was, I was just given the base, but I actually work the wood within city limits. Yeah, absolutely. Why? What's oh, up? So, no, I, I was wondering if this, like, would this become not a, so a, not so much a forbidden fruit anymore? Oh, um, I definitely, definitely, you know, if people were to know that you had worked it, it would be much less forbidden fruit. This would be much less of that, uh, of that kind of outside exotic and much more of a, of a magical item that is still desirable, but is not like original, technically, if they knew. Mm. Okay. Okay. If we don't, if we don't tell them, we could say it's brittle because of the, you know, fight that the previous owner went through. Mm. True, 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 okay. true. Uh, mm. That's very true. 
Okay, I have an angle in my head. You know, dump it, yeah, uh, or, or, or say yes to it. Wh- whichever what do you, you feel. think? Uh, uh, I'm an I'm an up and coming artist. You are my managers. Okay. And uh, this is probably one of my better works, and I'm looking to offload it to someone. Oh, and brilliant. that would get us into the lounge oh, because all the fancy people definitely want crap like this. And you can mingle scary. and get whatever info you want while trying to sell this thing to them. Brilliant idea. I could even pretend to be some schmuckety schmuck manager of yours who's spoken at them before. I could just say something like, we're here for our art viewing that we set up weeks ago. I'm pretty good with the word that way. And just, I, just to kind of keep things, because talking's not my best suit. Um, maybe uh, let, let's come up with something like, um, maybe I- to him. It's, You're going to interrupt his creative process. Oh, I like that. Let's go okay. with that. I like that. What do you think? Don't talk to him. He, he sworn an oath of silence for 30 years. What a, what a talented artist he is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. That, that, that's my proposal. It's up to you guys. Love it. I'm always a young. Love it. Uh, yes, I like it. I like the idea that uh, we booked something previously, yeah. and so they're, they should be expecting us, and if they don't have it on the list, it's their fault. Now, there's one important question for you. What, mm-hmm. what is your artist name? What should I refer to you as? Oh. Mm. <sighs> something really good. Something really, yeah. really good. Yeah, really inspiring, like yeah. Spanksy yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, and it's got to be also. It can't. There can't be a last name. It has to be like a symbol or yeah. just like a one-syllable was, name. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, mm. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Uh, no, it's easy. Just think of just just think of something like that that seems illustrious but actually makes no fucking sense. Like yeah, lying. exactly. Precisely. Yeah, and your name be. Uh, lamp. <laughs> Ceruli- Cerulean something. Uh, could, yeah, it could just be a color. Yeah, that works. How it could about... just be azure. Ooh. Uh, let's go with... Uh... Oh, that's not too bad. Actually, uh. yeah, I like that. Azure. Let's go with that. Oh, I was thinking azure. Uh. Oh, just the name uh. Oh, just the... Uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I do... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Why is he named Uh? Because when you see something, you're either going to go Uh, or you're going to go or, Uh. Oh. He, would, he wouldn't have oh. bothered to I write like, down Let's go with that. Uh, I love that. He wouldn't have written it down. He would have just said it. He would have just said it. Okay. So I like that. Let's go with Uh. But I'm going to have to keep track of when someone says Um, uh, because I'm going to have to turn like someone's calling to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's very good. This is going to be great. And or Or maybe we even like meld that into the whole like don't talk to him thing because now you're distracting him you keep calling his name Stop. oh yeah oh great idea great idea okay and we're all various forms of his uh, talent management make a title for yourself i could be a bodyguard maybe great idea uh, great idea who wants to be my PR, I guess. I'll be your PR. Wait, no, maybe that's one for Mr. Kane. After um, all, he's the one with the forward face, and, you know. And uh, Rippy's just gesturing at his face in general, and then just gesturing at Bishop's what? face and feeling like he's not really making his point. He's now standing beside Bishop Kane and just making small circles around his face with his finger. You yeah, know, he's got one of these that you want to talk to. You have a you know face, these. We both have, we both have yeah, faces. Yeah, that's the one. That's what Rippy said. I said, I mean, hey. Okay. Oh, Great. Okay. Off All we right. go. You're, you're, you're doing it again. You're just going okay. to half sentence talk over me every yeah. single fucking time, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, I can be your... What, what, what do you want me to be? The publicist? The media the, uh, manager? What, do, what am I exactly? What, public what? relations. Public no, relations. Public relations is already being so quiet. Public I mean, relations. You're like a mouse. <laughs> public relations. I can barely hear you. You're like a fucking mouse. All right. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, right. love it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about you, Sebastian? Um. <clears throat> I mean, do I need a title necessarily? Oh well, no, never mind. <laughs> 
Just kidding. Okay, what should I be then? Um, mm. my, my, maybe my, my manager. Like I have ah, a PR manager. Idea. I have a manager great manager. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. Okay. Love it. Love it. So yeah. straight to the club or to some clothier first? No. Although there's probably ah. nobody open now. Yeah, there's probably nobody open right now. Uh, can I, can, uh, boy, can I do any research into th this place? Okay. This place seems to, I'm, this place just seems to be the fucking worst. Okay. So <laughs> yep. I'm assuming like Twitter exists here. Oh my God. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, absolutely. If I'm, I'm going to be a social media manager, I'm going to immediately like try to, I don't have a cell phone or anything like that, but I'm going to steal somebody's on the, on the fucking sidewalk and I'm immediately start making accounts. <laughs> Uh, for uh, for uh yeah and because otherwise i'll be like i've never heard of you and i'll be like yeah well, why not all his social media stuff is right we just set him up um yeah i mean yeah do you want to take a phone from somebody on the street uh i mean do it boy i don't know i'm scared of like inter uh, hurting somebody's subordinate now <laughs> oh, well, oh, well why don't you let me try to pickpocket i literally have Ooh, a yeah uh, there we go um, okay yeah. i like that one do that one yeah I mean, I guess it depends on whether or not the GM thinks that. Uh, I think this one would take into account. The spell, the spell is called Sleight of Hand. And yep. it doesn't say when you steal something, but it says when you conceal a small object from view. And I think I could conceal a small object from someone's person from view. Yeah, I mean, basically, Sleight of Hand and pickpocketing, that basically all exists. Um, is it plus dexterity? Uh, it sure is. Yep, yep. That's, that's basically, that's definitely the role. Um, sure, okay. Yeah, so I think I think I would like to think that I get a plus two on this anyways, but I would also like to just think that this is something that Rip, this is one of the things that Rippy is good at. This is what he did: bump into oh, people absolutely. on the street, yeah. dust himself off, and meanwhile he's pickpocketed their their pocket watch or something. So, oh yeah, uh, I would like to first sort of look around the street for someone who looks like sort of bougie um, uh, Hunger Games, you know, elite walking a little froofy poodle or some shit like that, and plan to to intercept their path and stumble into them. Uh, Ruby, yeah. Do you want any assistance? Do you want someone making a distraction or do you prefer to work alone? Oh, not a bit. How about this? Uh, if I, uh, if I bump into him and then they walk away pretty quickly, I'm good. If it looks like we're even having this tiny bit of a conversation, that's an alarm bell. I need help immediately. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if I need help immediately, why don't you come up and start hissing at me or something like that, talking about a previous uh, uh, business engagement gone wrong or something like that to make it more dramatic so that the person I bumped into simply wants to leave and get away. Absolutely. I'm on it. Okay. <sighs> Um, okay, so, so far, yep. uh, you guys have left uh, Six's house. Yep. Uh, would you like to travel to the financial district? I think that's going to make the most sense. Yeah. Um, so you guys hop on a bus. Buses are still running. Uh, definitely fewer and fewer people on board them at this time of night. Uh, and you get off in the financial district. And here again, you know, uh, it, it's it's like midnight now. So the streets are pretty empty. Uh, you guys uh, probably get off around uh, around the um, <coughs> like bus stop that the uh, uh, Luminos is at. Sure. Uh, so you do see one or two very fancy cars stop by. A very fancy person steps out, and they only take like maybe three steps before they are intercepted by a bodyguard. And then kind of checked and then allowed in. So okay. you do not see very fancy people walking around on the streets, but you uh, do they're see mostly, I see. they're mostly dr being Free driven. Yeah, transit. Yeah, exactly. exactly yeah. yeah. No. Uh, but you do see the odd person who's not very bougie walking around. You do see one or two civilians, normal, regular ass humans walking around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I think, uh, I think. Can I do some sort of check to see if I can spot one that appears to be particularly um, uh, uh, absent-minded? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead and roll plus wisdom. Okay, which would be... Oh, zero. Yikes. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Yep. Still a pass. Uh, so you're looking around and uh, you definitely do see uh, one person who is kind of like walking along. They've got their shoulders hum hunched up in a big in a big kind of puffy jacket. Uh, and they're just kind of like muttering to themselves as they're walking down the street. OK, I would like for Rippy to intercept. And when I get close enough, I would like to stumble into them and use sleight of hand. Yeah. OK, uh, go ahead and roll plus dexterity. Oh my God, dude! Holy fuck! Uh -oh. Well, okay. Well, let's let's play it out, and then yep. uh, then we can see how well um, <clears throat> Tiger intercepts. Yeah. So I think what happens is uh, you you kind of are walking. The person doesn't even see you coming. You end up bump, bumping into them. Uh, you know, shoulder first, and uh, you get your hand into their pocket without them noticing at all. But they kind of like freak out when you bump into them, and they kind of like okay. sprawl backwards. Okay. Um, and their phone drops onto the ground. Ah, okay. So uh, it, it has fallen out of their pocket. It's on the ground. Uh, and they kind of like uh, back up. Like, what, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What's going on? What, what, what the hell? I think as soon as he does that, Rip, Rippy is Rippy's like exactly matching his energy. It's yeah. exactly as, as frantic as he is. Rippy's now backing up and like dusting himself and like checking his pockets and going, yeah. Oh, steady on. What are you doing? What what are you, where are you walking? What's wrong what with you? What you, you just run right you, in. you usually just stumble into people like that. I'm an important person. You can't just do that to me. And while he's doing that, he's he's like looking to make eye contact with Tiger. Yeah. To like widen his eyes like, uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> that went terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as soon as a tiger sees mouths moving, uh, she'll be walking up towards him and uh, saying, "You didn't. Uh, what's, your, what's your problem? You just left the card game and thinking you can't settle up when you know that you owe me from the last week, oh, and you're not going to get away you, this time, uh, Buster. It's, not, it's nothing like that. Look here, it was just a I bit of talk, and, talk and talk, and you're going to give just, me the money that you owe me. Okay, well we can talk something about that, it. Something that they did. So, can I, and I think, like as this is going on, uh, Rippy sort of like pulling on the guy's jacket to try to put him between um, <laughs> Tiger and himself. <laughs> 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 more uncomfortable. He's going. Like, He's like, he is now hunched so hard, his shoulders are in his ears. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know. I, don't know. I was just here. I was just walking. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know anything about any card game. I don't even know what's going on here. I think Rippy's like, now that the conversation is like getting more and more energetic, Rippy's like gesturing towards the guy that he's holding and being like, you know, something or something, this might be slightly his fault too, honestly. Can you finally be more what's what? happening? You think slightly. you're going to settle up? Well, you better prove it. Just, you better I pass mean, it over. You know, I was I just think walking, Rippy, man. <laughs> I think Rippy would just like shove the guy down the road and see if he just keeps going. Um. Okay. Why don't you roll plus dexterity or, or charisma, whichever is higher? Actually, you know what? Uh, how about, why don't we? Okay. And I'm going to change this because I forgot that his phone is still on the ground. So he's yeah. obviously going to be, he'd obviously be sort of um, amused by that. So here's what I would like to do I would like to uh, use con artist. Okay. So con artist specifically, I want to use it to try to talk myself out of trouble. Okay. And what I what I want to do to try to talk myself out of trouble is I want to take this guy around the shoulder, you know, sort of like I'm taking him aside for a little side conversation. Yeah. And I want to basically tell him like you don't want to fuck with this and point over my shoulder at Tiger and be like I've had dealings with her in the past and like you this is going to be bad. This is like you you're going to want to get the fuck out of here because do not cross this creature. That you like this you will end up uh, in the newspaper. Okay, okay. I think that sounds good. Um, well, go ahead and roll for... Uh, what does con sure. artist say? It says, uh, whenever you talk yourself out of trouble, roll plus charisma. If you roll a 10 plus, you are successful and you gain plus one forward on the next move to deceive the same person. On a seven to nine, you're still successful. The GM will tell you one of the following has happened. Your lie leads to another, which requires a new roll, suspicion, or unwanted attention. Um. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead and roll a con artist. Can it be at advantage because we're doing the whole thing? You know what? Yes, it can. Yep. Oh, so you guys are tag teaming. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh, God, dude. I've rolled a seven, a seven, a six, and a seven. Yep. Okay. Been a, been a run. Dude, your rolls. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh. There we go. Is the party's rolls this, this arc? Have been red ink rolls, man. I have seen yeah, yeah, red yeah. ones, like and I've it, seen all like campaign it. long. It feels like we're on expert mode, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, but thank God it was an advantage because that one was a thirteen. Yeah. Um, fuck. 
so uh, I think he just like looks you dead in the eyes. Yeah. And then he looks over your shoulder at uh, Tiger, who still looks like a giant fucking cat, of which <laughs> yeah. there have been zero. Yeah. Uh, and he just goes like white as a sheet <laughs> as he assumes that um, Tiger is an ascended. And he, yeah. just, he just runs. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think as soon as he does, Rippy like watches him like run off until the guy sort of gets intermingled in the crowd yeah. and then claps his hands once and goes, lovely. Well, <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, nicely done. The phone is still on the ground. Easy. There we are. Okay. Now what are we going to use that for? Oh yeah. Social media and stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll got to figure out how to, I'll figure it out. All right. Give me this and I'll. I'll start fanoodling it because actually I'm assuming I'd be familiar with like cell phone technology. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you so, turn it on uh, and it requires a passcode. Uh, fuck. try one 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 one. I, I try one 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 one. It unlocks. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my suitcase combination. <laughs> Um, all right, I will, uh, oh boy, uh, you know what, what, in for penny, in for pound, is there any, like, uh, pay for followers, uh, is there any, yeah, one, <laughs> is there any pay for followers, and two, does this guy have, like, any, uh, um, uh, like, crypto wallet set up for this, <laughs> this cell phone or anything like that? Um, yeah, he's got this really cool boost feature where, you can pay real money to make his oh, tweets yeah. more visible. And oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Does it have like, is it like a $500 limit though? Because I wouldn't want to be too ridiculous with it. No, yeah. No, it caps you at only $500 because let's not get carried away here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, cool, 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 cool. I'm fucking dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, Social media manager. <laughs> what's, uh, what's Red Ink Twitter called? It's probably something really evil sounding like like meta or metaverse or something. It's yeah. Really... It's... Oh, God. <laughs> Just exaggerating. Oh, God. <laughs> oh god <laughs> um yeah it's it's called uh it's called uh cinder Slipper. Cinder. 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 Oh my god. That's extremely good. <laughs> okay so you're All right. gonna make well i will yeah i'm gonna start uh i'm gonna go to cinder i'm gonna go to Instant fan. I'm gonna go to <laughs> only feet, and I'm. Gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna set up accounts for uh um for er at uh yeah. for for all of these things, and I'm just gonna be like, hey, hold on, give me a picture of yourself. I need something good. Hey, get underneath the post light. I'm gonna change the exposure. I'm gonna make like a real fancy photo and just like you know, just make it very artistic. Yeah. Uh, roll plus charisma for like a performance. With this, okay. uh, with this, with this camera. Holy shit! Yes. <laughs> yes. These pictures are like, damn, man. The lighting, the angles, the shadows, the way they cast over, you know, parts of the face and kind of cascade onto the street. It starts raining a little bit, and it just looks like, uh, looks like <laughs> a, a modern noir kind of uh kind mm -hmm. of picture mm -hmm. like this is this is our you take it in black and white and this thing is artistic as fuck um like All the this picture in the multiverse, and she walked in the mine <laughs> yes, yes exactly uh legitimately take a plus one whenever you use this picture to deceive people wait Ooh. say that last part again T whenever <laughs> you use this picture to deceive people whenever you try to sell Sebastian, as this artist, and you use this picture, take a plus one. Wow. It's okay. that compelling. That's you rolled a, a fucking picture. 13 on that shit. This picture <laughs> is, is, is like compelling as fuck. Uh, roll plus intelligence, uh, Bishop Kane. Uh, my intelligence, I believe, is my highest, which is plus two. Uh, you also find, um, uh, you find a crypto wallet with three. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh. Three bad coins in it. Oh, bad three bad coins. coins. Bad coins. <laughs> three bad <laughs> coins. <laughs> what? A, how much is a bad coin worth? Uh, it depends on who's buying. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> um, they're 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 worth uh, 
They're worth uh, Bitcoin money. Oh, Bitcoin. crap. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. 120 grand. You just yeah. Them. Yeah. Basically. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Holy all right. Shit. Hey, yeah. guys, we got money. We don't need to worry about selling. Oh, really? Right. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um, oh, wait, how much is $120,000 like worth here? Like, is that what's the economy like? Can I can I? Can I Let's, check the Can I check the markets with the song? Can I see what the economy is? You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you, grab a newspaper and see what the sales are inside of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you grab a for cafes. What's yeah. a coffee going for? You go to Goggle and take a look at the stock market. Goggle. Um, and uh, you uh, you take a look at uh, how they're doing, and I would say, yeah, uh, to save myself from myself, let's just call it normal North American you know kind of okay, uh, so it's in the garbage got it okay <laughs> yeah it's it's like you know like yeah 120 thousands i mean it's that's money to work with that's a good amount that's a good amount of money it's okay, a good amount of money uh for the top elite it's probably nothing to brag about yeah. <laughs> weak salary <clears throat> yeah exactly probably could afford a cozy apartment on the lower end of the district but mm. like of the rich district Gotcha. All right. So that, that, okay. So that actually has me a little concerned. Uh, cause one, if that is considered a decent amount of money for somebody who, you know, on the, the they're, they're doing well, but they're not like, oh God, you know, they, they got all the money, you know? Um, what is this guy doing with that money? Oh. So maybe we don't want to liquidate yeah. the entire thing. Well, there'd be a history of transactions too. Yeah, what if you use it to buy something? No, I guess that doesn't really work, hey? Buy something of ours. Uh, you look at the history and it looks like he mined all three bad coins himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that guess it's completely ours and we're completely safe. Okay, cool. Thank you, DM. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> As the DM um, wipes sweat from his brow from dodging some sort of fucking financial <laughs> disaster nightmare <laughs> roleplay that he doesn't understand. <laughs> you brought us here, man. <laughs> So there, there's a reason that I in real life am not a millionaire. It's because I don't understand this shit. <laughs> what right, the totally. fuck is a crypto? <laughs> Speaking of which, in that just, on that exact note, I did buy like 80 trillion uh cat girl coins today. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Oh god. Yes. Hey, Wait, you never cat know. Girl coins? Yeah, I swear to God. I'm like, you know you what? This is definitely gonna be the next meme. 100 <laughs> wow. percent Yeah, man. Like Dogecoin and stuff. All you need, just get Elon to descend one tweet man you're a millionaire and i've unlocked my phone <laughs> he, ar he already has once so that's why i was like i'm getting in on this early. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> got it there you go you, what you really need to get into is these nfts whatever the oh my god fuck that what shit is, is. Listen, non we'll talk about that after the session but the cat girl coin started because they wanted to do a cat girl collection nft Hey, oh, there wow. you go. Well, and I'm like, that's actually going to be pretty fun. It's a double whammy, man. Yep. Yeah. And just so you know what that is, Tech, it's a picture that only one person has the authentic copy of. Like, you retain proof that you have the authentic one copy. Yeah, it assigns of ownership of, of a, exactly. of a, of a, a digital thing. Digital kind of, yeah. yeah. It stands for oh, okay. non, non-fungible token, and it's a, it's basically yeah. you, you own it by right, but anybody with a right click uh, can <laughs> also yeah. own it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. So we found that. Okay. Now Ooh. are we? Do we? Yeah. What's up? I need. I need help making. Uh, I need a either a gaudy or pretentious name for this piece of art. How oh, true. Ooh. What? What? You, well, I was thinking, if we're having some trouble, of self actualization. I was thinking something <laughs> oh, avant garde fuck. like pièce de neige. Like, so, like, piece of winter or piece of snow, you know? Mm. Piece de neige, piece of snow. What does it mean? Who fucking knows? Who cares? Nothing. It, yeah, it's incredibly brittle, and if you if you touch it, it melts away. Yeah. <laughs> <It's not laughs> actually, yeah. actually, it could be like one of those things that if it, this does break in its name, that it might make it more yeah. expensive. Wow, true. The two pieces of de, of neige, the two pièces de neige. Could do. What do you think? Uh, you know, let's go with it. Let's go with it. Let's. Well, well, everybody come up with one, and he can pick his favorite. 
Why does it, why does it always have to be a competition with you? It was <laughs> modern masculinity is what you should call Ooh. it. Oh. 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 Giant oh. chunk of wood. There you grim. go. Oh. That's deep. Well, that's tigers. <laughs> Put mine Mr. in the hat. Oh God! Um, all right. Uh, pff, boy, I wasn't expecting to be put on the spot like this. Um, the uh, what was the name of that idiot again? The one that we rammed into the wall. Oh, uh, G Gamork. Grom. Grundel. Grind. Grim. Grom. Griddle. I think Grom. it was. I think Grom. it was named after Grom. a pancake maker. Griddle. Mm -hmm. Grom? Oh, Grom. G-R-O-M. Yes, Grom. Yes. Grom. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what yep. I remembered it with my steel trap memory. Um, <laughs> uh, if we try to sell it from like, you know, this is the, you know, if we go with that route of like, you know, this is the last scepter. This is the scepter of the last person who dared to try to break down these walls. Why don't we call it uh, Grom's memoir or some shit like that? I don't know. Hmm. Grom's key. Well, we, Grom's... We, we, we're not... I thought we were advertising it as a piece of work, piece of artwork. It is. It's an antique now. Oh. But sounds, if I made it, then sounds it's not complicated. An yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. I was saying that you made. All oh, right. Shit. In that case, I'll call it a, a fucking icicle. I don't give a shit. Oh. <laughs> Lovely contribution. Great. I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I, I, I get paid to remember things and investigate shit, not name fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> I just for the record, Mr. Sebastian, I think you're a visionary. Don't listen to it. He didn't actually fucking make it. I'm the one that picked it up. You listen to a word he says. I believe in the old goddamn lie. Okay, you're gonna be great. Okay, you're gonna be gonna great. Be don't huge. listen to him. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> so the three we have is a uh, icicle, uh, modern masculinity, and what was uh, the other one? P.S. De Neige. Go with your gut, uh, auteur. What is your? What does it say to you? Mm. Scepter of fragility. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You could you could just call it piece six, like just a number. You How about know? Uh, sh mm, short winter, early spring? Oh, something. Ooh. Oh, lovely! So it's fragile like an icicle, but because it's made of wood and beautiful, that's what you're looking forward to. Yes, oh, that's yes. Not a bad idea. Ooh, I want to change mine to the ice stick. Okay, well. <laughs> ice stick. <laughs> the ice stick. Yes. I still like short winter, early spring. But good try. That was very good also. Damn, I thought I was getting better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love it. Let's go with that. Okay, so have you got the uh, social media? Okay, great. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm obviously going through it. Um, oh, okay, well. Have I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was waiting for tech. Uh, have I gotten the social media? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, no, it's all set up. Okay. Yep. Okay. I mean, you just start buying followers. I want them to be over a million followers by the time I get over. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you set up an account and you pay you pay five hundred dollars uh, to to boost the the Cinder account. Uh, mm -hmm. Then you create a new account to spend another new five hundred dollars uh, to boost it. Right. Um, and stop. you're killing me. <laughs> uh, the first one you notice you get like twelve new followers, and then you get two, and then every five hundred dollars gets you one new follower who unfollows a couple minutes later. Oh my god! Oh boy. This, okay. place <laughs> <laughs> this place is hell. This place is hell. God. What will it take to get the red check mark? I just need the red check. Mark. I just need the red, <laughs> just need the red check mark. <laughs> and then you notice uh, hashtag uh is trending. Ooh. Um, and everyone is just tearing down, uh, like they're just talking about his, uh, his unethical, unenvironmental practices oh my God. about Excellent. how much he hates the uh, environment and children and about oh, how no. one time, uh, he refused to buy a puppy, which means that he supports puppy mills and, oh um, it is like just being dragged through the mud. I That's don't know probably just going to be good for you. I though. will tweet yeah. out. I, I, sorry, I will. I will send out yep. a message. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
I will. I will send it. Uh, all the accusations are completely true. <laughs> just yes. make yourself that much more uh can't smear us if i admit yep. to it yep um and uh you just watch that trending go up and up and up until like it's hundreds of thousands of tweets an hour kind of thing um mm -hmm. and then um hashtag cute puppy pick starts trending and hashtag uh just vanishes off the face of the planet oh my Sounds god good. perfect perfect <laughs> <laughs> all in a day all in a day <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah the the, the um, good to go. You're famous now. Yep. You happy? All right. Good. Okay. Great. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So I guess. Uh, I guess now we'd pretty much be ready to. Um, for the for the the big uh, the big swoop, which is to go to this, uh, Lum Luminos. Go to Luminos, and uh, now it's going to be up to Rippy <clears throat> to. Well, I mean, I guess should we should we use some of that bad coin to try to get new outfits for ourselves? Yeah, I would. That I was I was going to suggest. Yeah, sure. Let's do that, and then I think we'll be set up. Then I think we'll be able to make it an actual. Is there good impression. Open this lane. Oh wait, I'll just Google late night Taylor. There we go. There you go. You goggle night late night night. Wow. <laughs> no, no, hey, hey, that oh, one, oh, that oh. one got way the fuck away from me. <laughs> Holy, that was like a runaway train. <laughs> you goggle. Wow. You know what? <laughs> you goggle the thing, dude. Start with late goggle. Night start I them with the word. late night Taylor. That's wow, that's impressive. Yep. I'm impressed okay. that you can say that. You goggle <laughs> night like Taylor. Yep. <laughs> You go, Nightlight Taylor. No, no, I realize it's a typo and I delete. Uh, don't Google a Nightlight. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck you, Goggle. Late Night Taylor. Yay! Oh, Yay! There you go. What a combination of mouth sounds that is. Uh, and you find around you, there are a number that open at midnight. Perfect open at midnight that's gotta be good and they have got to some the vampire crowd yeah they have got some like really really interesting names like deja or mm. soleil or <laughs> elements uh and uh yeah so there's a couple very fine tailors that are open can, nearby can i roll to see if if uh rippy would have any sort of sense by by their you know their choice of their business description uh how much he would know about their ability to make a good suit since he's a person who like always wears a suit uh yeah absolutely go ahead and roll plus uh intelligence okay okay yep. um so you would say Probably the fact that they're opening at midnight yep. means that they're all kind of on that really weird, <laughs> yeah. weird artsy kind of uh, 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 fanciness. So they're all probably pretty solid choices. Okay. Um, but the elements one, because it is spelled L E L E M E N C E. Oh my God. Is probably the most like artsy <laughs> fartsy one. Well. If we're looking to make a, a strong statement, then uh, elements is probably where we're going to want to go. Perfect. Where's that at? Um, it's right over here, isn't it? And it, yeah, he points at the map on my phone, and I say it's right there. What a strange device you're holding. I've never seen such a... Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say, keep that away from yourself there, kitty cat. If you're an ology, that would be like a nuclear tic-tac. Whoa! Holy fuck, so true. What if much. I ate the internet? That's such a good oh, idea. Oh, boy. That would probably cause the collapse of space and time forward and backward. <laughs> it'd be worth it. Well, that depends on who you're asking. You, yeah. Me? Everyone else, yeah. no. <laughs> It's okay. We'll have fun with it. We'll have a digest Wikipedia where anyone can upload what they think is real. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, right, well, let's go. I found a brownie on the ground. Nice. <laughs> is, it, is it still good? Are you sure it's a brownie? Wouldn't necessarily recommend eating it just based upon where we are right now, you know? Who I'm knows sure what's in it? Mm. Uh, 
All right, okay. come on, this way. Roll for poison brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for weed brownie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so you guys are going to elements? Yep. Okay, so you, uh, let's change up the music. Let's give you some elements music. Okay. Uh, what would be some good elements music? I may have taken all the- Dark Nassus. Darnassus? <laughs> I um, thought it was going to be the Yo Yo Boy dance. Oh, oh that's also pretty hipstery. <laughs> um, do I have. Uh, what? Uh, none of these names mean anything. What's Du Desane? What is Du Desane? Right? You exactly. Is, yeah, really. I ask myself the same thing every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the face and I say, you stupid fucking idiot, what does do to say? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't you, be mean! You, I point myself in the face and say, you fucking asshole, what is it? Hey! <laughs> um, I don't think any of these are good. Okay, just a second, let me grab a new uh, track. I did not set up uh, music beforehand, so let's grab... Um, there's some nice stuff. What's that one? What's this? Nope, that's really sad. I don't think they're gonna play... Cade's that would be funeral hilarious. song uh, from Destiny <laughs> here. Uh, let's go ahead. What's this one? Yeah, sure. How about the... Uh, you know what? I don't even care what the... I have no idea what this is. We're going with it, whatever this it is. This is the music, music that music. plays. Yep. We'll take our cue from whatever the music is, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh! Um, Whoa, what the... Hey! I, I like to move for a hard pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is, uh... Oh, holy shit, this is my perfect kind of vibe. <laughs> I mean... I home here. I feel like... I feel like I shouldn't tell you what this is from. White ink. From the white ink, yeah. I, yeah, well, I thought so. actually not. <laughs> oh. Not? No. This is from the green ink. Is oh. it horse bus? No, not horse bus. What? Oh I'm pretty boy. sure it's from StarCraft, but I don't know what. It is, it is from StarCraft. You know what? Oh. I'm just gonna. I, you you guys don't need to know. You don't need to know. You gotta tell us now. We'll, we'll, we'll die of curiosity. Lead, yeah, you can't just lead in with that. From a big old goodbye. No. Oh. Yeah. This is Jake's goodbye. This is Jake's goodbye. Oh, that is, that's a weird vibe. Oh, that's a weird vibe. Sure. You know what? This is the fucking red ink. This is fucking blasting over the speakers. Like, <laughs> like, like totally a giant F no you from the universe. I was gonna say the weird, the weird uh, synchronicities and overlaps of parallel universes and shit. Exactly. It just so okay. happens that this song is playing. Uh, there are like um, neon tube lights kind of like pumping and pulsing around kind of thing um there are people wearing very 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 bougie very haute couture outfits in here um and there's not a single fucking cowboy hat or spur to be seen and okay. this music is just just drowning everything out it's so loud in here <laughs> 